Hello everyone and this is lecture 1 on boundary value problem. A partial differential equation is an equation involving one or more partial derivative of an unknown function say u that depends on two or more variables of an, one of the variable time t and one or several variables in space maybe x, y or z. The order of the highest derivative in partial differential equation is called its order. A partial differential equation is linear if it is of first degree in the unknown function u and its partial derivatives. Otherwise, a differential equation is called nonlinear. We discussed about partial differential equation during the previous lectures. In those lectures, we discussed about Lagrange partial differential equations of a first order. In boundary value problem, we talk about partial differential equations of a second and higher orders. Some of the important second order partial differential equations we have. First one, second order derivative of u with respect to t equal to c square del square u divided by del x square this is a one dimensional wave equation now equation number two first order partial derivative of u with respect to t equal to c square and second order derivative of u with respect to x this is heat equation then we have equation number three laplace equation four is poisson equation fifth and sixth they are two dimensional wave equation and heat equation so in the coming lectures we will talk about the solution techniques for one and two dimensional wave equation and heat equations what do we mean by a solution of a partial differential equation a solution of a partial differential equation in some region r of the space of the independent variables is a function that has all the partial derivatives appearing in the partial differential equation in some region t containing r and satisfies the partial differential equation everywhere in r so in this chapter uh, boundary value problems we will talk about uh, one dimensional wave equation heat equation and then two dimensional wave and heat equation so we will find out particular solutions of these partial differential equations over some region or satisfying some conditions uh, now the unique solution of a partial differential equation corresponding to a given physical problem is obtained by the use of some conditions given for that problem now these conditions are of two types first one is boundary conditions this may be the condition that the solution u your dependent variable or the function u assume given values on the boundary of the region r so these conditions are called boundary conditions for example in a one dimensional wave equation we have a string of length l so uh, we can say the region is an interval of length 0 to L so we can have its conditions on the boundary that is the endpoints of the string so boundary conditions are the conditions which the function assumes on the boundary of the region when time t is one of the independent variables then the function u or its derivative with respect to t or both may be prescribed at time t equal to 0 so these conditions are called initial conditions so given a partial differential equation along with boundary conditions or initial conditions we have to find out its a particular solution to find out the solution of these boundary value problems we use one theorem this is called the fundamental theorem of superposition it says that if u1 and u2 are solutions of a homogeneous linear partial differential equation in some region r then u which is c1 u1 plus c2 u2 that is linear combinations of these two functions 
with C1 and C2 as arbitrary constants is also a solution of the partial differential equation in the region R. We will discuss the solution of a one dimensional wave equation and heat equation in the coming lectures. Today I will discuss some very basic or simple partial differential equations of a second order and these partial differential equation can be solved by the same technique as we know for the ordinary differential equations so start with example one we have u as a function of two variables x and y and we have to find out the solution of this differential equation of one u x x minus u equal to zero where this u x x is the second order partial derivative of u with respect to x this is a second order partial differential equation so the number of arbitrary constants in its uh, general solution or you can say the number of arbitrary functions in this solution of this partial differential equation is 2. now this partial differential equation is something special there is no derivative with respect to y and it is not appearing in the partial differential equation so we can solve such type of partial differential equation just like the ordinary differential equation so rewrite uh, partial differential equation one as an ordinary one i am writing here with equation number two u double dash minus u equal to zero treat this one as an ordinary differential equation and this is ordinary homogeneous linear differential equation we can find out its solution auxiliary equation will be m square minus 1 equal to 0 that is corresponding to the uh, rewritten form of the differential equation that is equation number 3 now its uh, auxiliary equation is m square minus 1 equal to 0 so roots will be plus minus a 1 so in that case the solution of the equation is given by equation number 4 u is a times e raised to power x plus b times e raised to power minus x where a and b are some constants and now when we integrate with respect to x we have to treat y as a constant so these two arbitrary constants a and b we take them as functions of a y so we just replace a and b by some functions of a y and finally we have equation number 5 u x y is equal to a y e raised to power x plus b y e raised to power minus x you can go from equation number 5 to equation number 1 that is from this uh, equation number 5 you can formulate the partial differential equation by elimination of arbitrary functions capital A and capital B we get equation number 1 consider equation number 1 second order derivative of u with respect to x and y this is equal to minus of derivative of u with respect to x now in this equation we have derivative with respect to x and with respect to x y so these are mixed but we can solve this differential equation as an ordinary differential equation for this one we use substitution technique set u x partial derivative of u with respect to x equal to p given by equation number 2 now using 2 we can rewrite our partial differential equation 1 as equation number 3 that is partial derivative of p with respect to y this is equal to minus p now this equation number three now we solve this one as an ordinary differential equation of first order because in this one we have only derivatives with respect to y so i am just rewriting this one as an ordinary differential equation dp over dy this is equal to minus p variable separable form we can simplify this and finally we have equation number 5 as the solution of this equation number 3 now we use this equation number 5 where p is e raised to power minus y c x use this equation and substitute in equation number 2 so finally we have equation number 6 that partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to e raised to power minus y into cx 
now in this one we have to find out to you so we integrate equation number six with respect to x on both sides treating y as constant so on left hand side we have u after integration on the right hand side of equation number c we just integrate this with respect to x e raised to power minus y is common so we take it common and now we are integrating so we have to add constant of integration now we are treating y as constant see just add g y that is some arbitrary function of y as a constant so uh, this next term see cx dx we are integrating this we don't know what is this function c so whatever is this function c if we integrate this with respect to x it is again going to be some function of x so let's call that function as f of x so finally we have the general solution u x y equal to e raised to power minus y f of x plus g of y try these uh, numerical problems you have to solve partial differential equations just like an ordinary differential equations equation number one u y y equal to zero so you can solve it directly similarly second and third can be solved now in the fourth one we can solve this just like uh, linear ordinary differential equations but this is now non-homogeneous part so again we will solve it by the same technique as of linear ordinary differential equations